Jack in Erie, Pennsylvania writes to me, and he says, Paul, why don't more amplifiers have wattage meters on their faceplates? <laughs> I, I started building my system in April of 1990 with a pair of Carver Amazing Loudspeakers purchased in Erie after I graduated college. I used all of my savings and my just married to me wife thought I was nuts. <laughs> I probably was nuts, but aesthetically, our system is, was beautiful to watch as those meters all jump up and, more importantly, tell us how hard we are pushing our system, and we push it hard. Good job. <laughs> I love the two of you are in this together. That, that's, that's terrific. Um, so, meters are pretty, um, pretty useless. They, because they're mechanical devices, they're, they're pretty slow. You can get an idea on average peak. We in Octave Records have a lot of analog in our old Studer mixer. We have a analog meters you know, that, that are on every single channel. So there's 32 analog meters and they are pretty useless. You get an average idea because they're slow. If you look at an electronic meter, which is what we have, say, for instance, at, at Octave Records, in our A to D converters, we have an instantaneous peak meter that not only reads as an LED thing, it doesn't look so cool, but it, it, it'll read peak and it'll stop and show you where your peaks are so that you can see. And even though the analog meters are telling me, oh, you're in good, safe zone, I look over at the electronic version and I see that I've already clipped four times and I got to turn it down. Now, that doesn't make the analog meter so happy, but it does make the real meter, the one that actually is doing a good job, happy because that's telling me information that's relevant. Now, for home audio, yeah, if you have a Macintosh, if you have, they, they, they you know, I mean, they're cool. I, I, I like them. I mean, I was in radio for years, and that's all we had was VU meters. I mean, it was just part of, part of the deal. And I, too, like them. I, and we produced um, an amplifier specifically because in Asia our, gosh, I'm trying to think of which, might have been Michael Wong in uh, Radar Audio. I don't remember, but one of them just said, look, you've got to put meters on your new amplifier. People love meters. Why not do it? So we did. And it was cool. And we just never did it again. I just, maybe the engineering nerd in me is just too much. <laughs> I don't want to put something that isn't really useful, even though it just looks cool. That's just me. But I think it's gone out of fashion is why more companies don't do it. But I do agree, they are wickedly cool. They're just not all that useful. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.